Hello there, I'm Ethan, the head of support at OpenTrons. This is the fourth video in a series we are calling From Box to Protocol. Let's get started with attaching the pipettes. I just installed the app and connected to the OT2. So I can start with one of the first tasks, which would be to attach the pipettes. For this, I will need pipettes, 2.5 millimeter hex screwdriver, the pipette screws that either come with your OT2 or pipettes, and the calibration block that comes in the accessory box that was attached to your OT2 deck. The OT2 has two pipette mounts that I can attach any of the OpenTrons pipettes to. As long as you're using OpenTrons pipettes, you can attach them in any configuration you'd like. With how flexible and modular the OT2 is, you should not be surprised at how simple it is to attach the pipettes to the OT2. I have with me a P1000 and a P20 Multi that I will be attaching today. Let's start by going to the computer that our app is installed and that the OT2 is connected to. First, I'll go to the devices page and click the three dot menu where I want to install the pipette to. I will click on the attach pipette button and move pipette to the front. This will initiate the attach pipette flow and bring the pipette carriage to the front of the deck and the pipette mount down towards the deck. This will make it so the pipette mount is accessible for me to attach the pipette to. Next, I select which pipette I want to attach to the OT2. I feel like the P1000 might be the best selection for this side. So I will open this up and select P1000 single channel. First, I will need to align the P1000 with the pipette mount. To do this, I pass the pipette into the OT2 through the front window. I'll hold it vertically. The front edge of the pipette should be even with the front edge of the mount. There is nothing actually there holding the pipette up, so it would fall if I did let go. There are a total of three 2.5 millimeter hex screws that will secure the pipette to its mount. There are two top screws which are permanently embedded in the transparent plastic at the top of the mount. And then one screw which I need to insert myself. I will screw in the top two screws first, making sure not to tighten them all the way. Then I will screw in the bottom screw, making sure that the pipette is straight up and down. Uh, I have a single channel pipette this time, so I will screw in the bottom screw all the way. Last, I will tighten the top screws all the way. After screwing in the pipette, I will need to plug it in. The OT2 controls the pipette through a white ribbon cable. I will find the white connector tab and press it in towards the pipette as far as I can. Now we can move to the computer and make sure that the pipette is connected properly. I'll click have robot check connection. So when the check mark appears, I will know that the pipette is recognized. I'm going to exit without calibrating and attach to that pipette. So it's gonna be the same initial process for the other mount as well. I'm going to wanna to attach the P20 multi-channel now. And I'll initiate this by clicking the three dot menu on the left mount, then attach pipette and move pipette to front. This will now bring the pipette carriage to the other side. And I'm going to be attaching a P20 multi-channel. I will attach this pipette in the same manner I attached the P1000 on the right mount. I'll also need a pipette screw from our bag. So again, it should feel like something's holding it there, but it's really not. And there are three pipette screws that I'll need to screw in. There's the two that are 
encased in the plastic and then the one on the bottom. So I'm going to screw in the two top screws first. And I need to make sure not to tighten them all the way like I did on the previous pipette. I will now screw in the bottom screw. So since this is a multi-channel pipette, I'm not gonna tighten the bottom screw all the way. I'll first need to go through the process of leveling it. But first I'm just gonna make sure that this white cable is plugged in, same manner I did the P1000. And I'm gonna go to the computer, make sure that it is recognized. Going to click have robot check connection. The green check mark does show up so I know that the pipette is recognized. I will now need to level the pipette. I will now place the calibration block in slot three, making sure that the short side is on the left side and I will lower the pipette and I can wiggle it until all the pipette nozzles are touching the calibration block. It's in a good location, so we'll go back and tighten the screws. So now that the pipette is attached and it's recognized and it's level, um, I'm going to exit without calibrating. I'm going to perform the pipette offset calibration and tip length calibration for both pipettes in the next video though. So this concludes our video on attaching pipettes. Thanks for checking out our fourth video in the From Box to Protocol series. Now that I am connected to the OT2 and have attached the pipettes, I will move on to pipette offset calibration, tip length calibration, and deck calibration. Thanks for watching the video and bye for now.